obviously uh, the fall is apple season and although we make these year round the fall is the best time of year for apples uh, the part you didn't see is just as these apples are being dunked in the chocolate and now coated with pecans earlier the apples were dunked in the caramel and we do not put a stick in the apples because it encourages um, the apple to age quicker than if it's left alone. <clears throat> so these apples have a good shelf life of several weeks and we use our exceptional milk chocolate and surround the apple in that. Crystal and Ruthie are doing this and have done it for years. And our caramel is especially delicious. It's got a great flavor and very tender. And these apples are done in nuts like pecans. They're also done with peanuts. They're decorated with uh, dark chocolate, sometimes white chocolate, and they're very seasonal. For example, some of them now will have uh, a fall motif. They can have a Thanksgiving motif and also Christmas. And as well, because of our ability to get good quality apples year round. We can have apples Mother's Day, Father's Day, uh, all throughout the year. And what's really nice about these apples is once you cut them open, we use Granny Smith apples and the tartness of the Granny Smith plays especially well against the sweeter caramel, the milk chocolate, and the nuts. It really is an incredible uh, eating experience. I really enjoy these apples. Okay, uh, one thing I wanted to mention is we are in the dipping room now and there's a reason that I have um, a face mask because I have a beard and we are very strict about no hair showing all hair covered. So that's a very important part of our quality control here. Now, we have the same almonds that we saw in the kitchen and the same almonds that we saw Lisa making bark with now are a little different and Lisa and Helen are making almond clusters. So if you don't want a large piece of almond bark, you can get a small uh, three, um, three almond cluster. So each cluster has three almonds and these are uh, a, a terrific uh, treat. The almonds, as we said, are from California. We roast them here and they have a very, very good flavor. And they're going on the cold plate just like the marzipan and strawberry creams did. And the bottom's going to solidify and they are going now into the curtain of our 10-inch enrober. And this is a very lush, thick chocolate, as you can see, coating all the nooks and crannies of the almonds so that there's a nice cover and provides a real fine eating experience. And particularly after dinner, one or two pieces of candy really sets off a meal. And uh, particularly if I haven't been at work like on the weekend or something like that and I take a piece of chocolate, it feels 
very different to me than being here during the day and having a few pieces during the day. It, it's a, a great fa flavor, a great complement to any meal or as a snack. Okay, we're now after these uh, apples are coated with nuts, Crystal is decorating them with dark chocolate. And this is a special order from a customer in our Boardman location, Boardman, Ohio. We have two locations. And they'll be picking them up in Boardman later today or tomorrow. And that just, the interplay of dark chocolate, pecans, caramel, and the tart Granny Smith apple is an incredible taste uh, sensation. And I've eaten many of these and they are absolutely delicious even though we don't use delicious apples. Right here, we're depositing um, four ounces of chocolate in two two-ounce shots in this mold. And just so you can hear me speak, we have the vibrator off because it is noisy. And these are our Santa molds and we use this depositor for all our book molds and I, I'll be able to show you when we take the chocolate out what a book mold looks like. But these are actually filled from the bottom. And they're solid four ounce Santa Clauses. And this machine will do all of our figures for Easter. It'll do bunnies, it will do peeps, roosters, hens, anything that that mold has. Okay, these Santa molds have been in the cooling tunnel for about 20 minutes. And we're gonna take them out. And this is why it's a book mold, because it looks like a book and it's hinged here. So these chocolate Santa molds uh, are now ready to take out. Uh, everybody's at lunch right now, so I'm here doing it. But they will be bagged and put out in display in, in the retail store or shipped to our wholesalers. And these are milk chocolate. We make them in dark as well. Our chocolate is packaged in these 1,800 pound containers and we buy a truckload of about 43,000 pounds and we purchase the highest quality chocolate available in our opinion. And the cocoa beans come from the other side of the world and they are ground and processed and make this excellent chocolate that we have. Now the chocolate's solid, so we have to melt it. And we melt it in this tank, which is about 7,000 pounds of chocolate. And from there, through the stainless steel pipes, it goes into the other room. It's okay. It goes into the other room, and as you can see, it's piped throughout the factory. And those are all water jacketed stainless steel pipes and they're extremely sanitary and they provide uh, 
the warmth the chocolate needs to flow so they do not get solid in the pipe. 